Okay. Of course, this is Daid al Hutari with New Media. And we welcome everyone from this camera, this camera, and that camera over there. Of course, we really would like to uh, like give a special thanks to those people who stopped by and thanked us for our work. Without your support, I mean, I just can't imagine that. I mean, I don't want to imagine. I will post a big thanks on social media to you, dear viewers. Now, a new episode, new guests, new segments, new stuff, new video games, and of course, a new suit. What do you think? All right, so we will discuss something very briefly uh, about uh, new media and social media in general. So uh, media and like everywhere, people use them to communicate like in the past or old classic media, it allowed us to use TV as a medium to rely messages and send our greetings and dedications to people. Remember those old traditional friendly programs? I mean, well, social media allows us to be quick and send instant messages. Social media has become so extensive and widespread that Everyone uses social media to send, let's say, thank you messages, goodbye messages, congratulation messages. Uh, we have also anniversary messages, get well messages, can be anything, motivational, and also hate and disapproval messages. And it is accepted socially to receive messages formally from social media to receive messages of congratulations and even condolences. How did that happen? Well, because everyone uses it and likes it, and mostly on it. Presidents, CEOs, you and me, engineers, doctors, and even princesses send socially important messages through social media. Like 10, 15 years ago, we did not have that. We had newspapers, TV, radio, telefax, and Morse codes to send these messages. But those old ways are expensive, and social media is basically free. So, no excuses. Send your regards and thank you to everyone you know now. Nice coffee, Mariam. Media story, of course. About messages, so watch this video first. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, famously known as Pelé, was of course a legendary Brazilian professional footballer and the greatest footballer who never played in Europe. Regarded and discussed as one of the greatest players of all time, even nicknamed the greatest. Sadly, Pelé passed away on December 29 of 2022. The world had to say something to communicate and express those condolences. That is a great way to use social media to incorporate human elements. World stars used their social media accounts to express their deep sorrow and sadness. Presidents, actors, and world media figures. Of course, who doesn't like Pele? Let us watch some of the social media messages posted by football's biggest stars about the death of Pele. Social media messages of condolences offer an important way for people to support one another. During difficult times, it is often easier to express sympathy online than in person. And by the way, thanks for the social media. Kuwait is also remembered Pelé when he visited Kuwait for the first time in 1973. It was a big event, the legend in Kuwait with the Brazilian football team Santos to go against al Qadsiya and the game was played at the Shuwaikh High School Stadium. It was on February and the game ended 
in a draw, one to one. Pele scored for Santos, and Jasim Yagoub scored for Al Qatsiya. Let us watch the goals. <laughs> حمد محمد طويل قدام قاسم يعقوب عبد الحميد حمد جول 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 Hello and welcome back, dear viewers. And now we are back with the upload segment, of course, like we're used to, having different content creators from different parts of Kuwait every week in No Media. So today we have got special guests, not only one, two from Sand Globe. We have Saud and also we have Salah. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. So we are so happy to have you here with us. But first of all, before we begin this interview, I'm used to asking our guests to look at their cameras and telling us something about them before we begin. Okay. Starting from uh, you, Saud. Um, this is your camera. My name is Saud Chakr Al-Nizi. I'm a writer and a director. Fair enough. Yes. Salah. Hello, my name is Salah Salim. I'm an artist and a video editor. Welcome to the studio, guys. Hello. Thank you so much. Hi. So happy to be here. We're actually so happy to have you as well. This is the first time, by the way, for us to have two guests, not one. So this is going to be uh, the, I'm, I'm using. I'm, I'm so happy, already excited. Okay. Hopefully, it's a good experience. Like it will be. <laughs> it will be. All right. So uh, let's start with uh, what do you guys do? Like, okay, you guys are animators. I already mentioned from Sand Globe. Let's. Can you can you like Saud first of all tell us what is Sand Globe? Sand Globe is an animation studio. We're trying to make. Uh, high quality professional animation and uh, learning about the journey. The animation has many stages and we want to learn all about it and make animation that reflects Kuwait, Kuwait culture, Kuwait jokes. We have uh, specific kind of jokes in Kuwait and we want an animation that reflects that culture. All right, fair enough. Again, now, Salah, I have this question for you. Yeah. That's going to be one, two, one, two here now. Uh, animation, like, from, from the, of course, you have heard of anime, right? Yeah, of course. So is anime, there is like the, the cartoons they, they say or the uh, shows that, that people watch, uh, the Japanese ones, is it the same thing, the anime or animation, they, comes from, they, they come from the same uh, name or it's different? Well, actually, um, uh, yeah, like the anime and the manga, it was influenced um, strangely by Disney. Like, if you notice the animes, they have a very, very large eyes. Um, they took it from uh, Disney animations, They um, like, but they, like, obviously, they exaggerated improved the it. eyes, Her improved right. it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this. So, yes, uh, all animation is connected, everything is connected, yeah. All right. And now, since you guys are animators, you create these things, you have your own creativity to to create something out of nothing. Now, I, I was watching, I was, I was uh, scrolling down your Instagram account and I already told you that, that um, there is this thing that caught my attention, the huge hand and it says in Arabic, al hujum al maash which means in English, uh, the attack on the salary. Salaries, man. yeah. <laughs> so it, it kind of reminded me of the show Attack on Titan. So oh, you yeah. guys got the huge hands and then the, uh, the small guy running yeah, with the yeah, money. Yeah. It's funny, it's creative actually. And uh, I mean, I don't watch the show, but I, I know it, so it's, it's kind of creative and nice. Uh, the ideas, where, where do you get the ideas from? Uh, like so. exactly what you said, you don't watch the show, but you know it. In social media, uh, in every social media, sometimes you don't have time to create a lore and play with it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. sometimes we just uh, like benefit from something that people know and reflect it on our culture. Like uh, we had a, the, the uh, payment of the banks were coming and we want to make a video that reflect like uh, the, the situation so we took some things from enemy uh, from the attack on titan enemy which everyone know mm -hmm. and put a situation that reflects uh, like no, what's society. happening in kuwait yeah. mm -hmm. so people will understand the joke immediately without exactly uh, this is what happened to me lore. yeah yeah. This is exactly what happened to me, and this is why I liked it, and it's, it's beautiful, creative enough. Of course, there's more things to talk about about the Instagram, but now let's jump on to how many members you got in Sand Globe. Oh, we have uh, nine talented artists and animators. Um, we found them scattered all over Kuwait, 
and Saud, thankfully, he like, come, <laughs> come here. <laughs> let's, let's create something beautiful together. So, yeah. Like so, animation, you have to be really passionate about. It's mm -hmm. really difficult to make animation in Kuwait because there is no schools to teach animation in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, those passionate people know some stuff, like most of them are artists, some of them um, are animators. So we gathered together and st started figuring out how to make a good quality animation because animation takes a lot of effort, not just a drawing. You have to know Indeed. how to move a character, how to draw a character, and uh, there's a lot of things. So we all collaborate together to make our passion come true. I really wanted to be an animator, but I really don't know how to draw a stick, man. So oh, yes, that's exactly. why I, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, guys, and you, you guys are there. Okay. Uh, that's, why, that's why I'm a writer, because I can draw also. But, yeah, I use this guy. Yeah, so he comes up with the idea and like, like a bucket, like, Salah, do them. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, what can I do? Yeah. Then make this them, is the story of my life. Then change them at the end and make them harder for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best part for me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, now I understand that everyone has his own role in, in, yeah. in the, to say, the group? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, like, for me, as a director, I have to know everything. Like, I tried everything from writing, animating, uh, drawing. I have to know the challenges that people are... If I'm given a task for an, an artist, I know what's he capable of or what's, or what's the hardship that he's going to face. Uh, but uh, because we want to do an, a really professional work, we need someone who is proficient with every step of the way. Like Salah, he's uh, the art director in the studio, so he is really knowledgeable with colors and uh, proportion for characters. Nice, could, uh, nice to you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> like the colors. Well, uh, thank you. And by the way, um, there's also uh, one thing that I really uh, wanted to ask uh, about the equipments that you guys use. How, how, how can I be an animator? Like, is it just no. drawing? Do, do I need like a computer? Or the, Some people draw on the iPads, I see it, so it's different. I have no idea, so you tell me. Salah. Um, you can start anywhere. You, can start. you don't need to have a billion dollar uh, setup or anything. Like you said, a, uh, a, an iPad and all the classes and like, okay, I want to make this type of animation. You can YouTube it or Google it, the steps, and everything is out there. There is nothing stopping anyone from becoming a very good artist or animator. But uh, like, do you think that you need a skill or a talent for it? And it's a diff two different things. Mm -hmm. Passion. Yeah. Passion. Yeah. <laughs> Passion. Passion. Yeah. First step is to be a bad artist, then becoming a better artist, or a bad animator, then becoming better animator. Oh, we all like, start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, some like a lot of people I, uh, I encountered, they they're afraid of doing like making a bad animation. But you have to make a bad animation to make it better. Like yeah. you can't just jump into good animation. You have to do the bad thing first. This goes well with everything. Yes, you exactly. Have to, you have to do mistakes so that you can learn. Yeah. Without mistakes, you will never you yes, will exactly. stay in exactly. your position. Yeah. All right, so Saud, now that we already mentioned that uh, you have got to have a setup, a certain setup, it doesn't have to be expensive, as you, uh, Salah mentioned, but now as an individual, before creating the, the group, was it more difficult than being in a group, um, you know, working as an animator? Uh, yeah, working in a group has its own challenges, but it has its own benefits also. If you want to grow, if you want to make something big, you need to collaborate with other people. But there are some difficulties. Uh, the most important thing is uh, that the vision of the group has to be very clear. Like everyone is 100% uh, on board. Because if, uh, if it's not, you'll have like confrontation and uh, the group won't survive. Uh, the best thing is, just knowing every everyone in this group is uh, adding something and is doing like a, a valid work, so no one will be will, will feel like he's doing all the work and uh, other people are just there for the ride. Fair enough. Now, Salah, do you think that you guys need to recruit more people into your group, or nine is enough? Well, what's the what's the goal? Well. How I see it, like the dream is, obviously the dream is to make the company as big as possible. Like everyone dreams of that. But the smart thing is to be strategic, like, you know, like um, not to expand very fast, very fast. To be selective. Area. Oh, yeah, we have to be very <laughs> selective. Yeah, we have. The most important thing for us is the atmosphere and like in the group. Oh, yeah. It has to be fun. Uh, we're joking a lot. Mm. We're making 
most of our uh, videos that we make is comedic and fun. So uh, the spirit of fun has to be like everywhere in it the city. It has to be, exactly. So uh, yeah, we, we are very picky about who's joining. Uh, are you like too serious or mm. are you get, do you get angry uh, of like small jokes? And critiques. And <laughs> it's and, not, uh, of course, you have to know right. each other, of yes, course. Uh, exactly. Now, you guys are nine. Yes. And you have one Instagram account. Who's running all the... the who's running the account? Who's running? Hmm? Who's like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the account is run by me and Salah. Uh, we sometimes like pass it over. Mm. Salah is, has like the sweet, uh, sweet talk with uh, followers. Oh, yeah. he can, he, he's patient. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm not that patient and... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I just push it to Salah. Yeah. Salah. Maybe you should uh, talk to this. <laughs> now, this is a, a common question. Now, of course, as a content creator, uh, as you become uh, familiar with, with the people around you and the, the world, people might uh, send you some negative and positive neg uh, comments. So how would you reply to the negative ones? Some, some people like musicians or other people uh, who are talented, uh, once they face some negative comments, they just stop. I mean, there's some people would tell them, hey, you should stop what you're doing. So what if someone told you your art, your uh, animation is it's just not good. is not good? How would you feel about that? Well, how would you reply also to that? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, firstly, of course, like uh, there's a a sharp sharp line. Like if there's a very bad words like being typed or anything. Mm. These we have to delete them because like our culture like refuses this this type you, you of don't, language. You don't want people to see. Well, of course, yeah. No. Uh, bad uh, like criticisms or or even negative vibes it is inevitable these comments will appear okay mm -hmm. uh, i guess that the person should should have the 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 power and the mental stability to handle this wave um uh, any celebrity like of course like ourselves everyone have negative um, it's it's there it's there and it will not go away you have to build to have a tougher skin, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. and if you are making like uh, like brave uh, content or like controversial content, you have to expect someone, to, yeah. because especially if we are making animation and we're talking about cultural thing, uh, we're not we're not intending to hurt anyone, but some people take it seriously and <laughs> start talking. Yeah, yeah we grow uh, very tough skin. Like from uh, for now, we're working for ten years, so. Our skin is really, really tough about oh, this. <laughs> I don't know if you want to keep this, whatever I'm going to say. Like, whenever Saud have some negative wave, like I will be one of them. Like I will go to the negative side and go. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing you're, you're the first one. Too. You're the yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. So, uh, ten years is not. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's, it's a lot, so yeah. you, you get to know more about each other, and you can oh, handle <laughs> a tougher skin again. Yeah. So between you guys. Uh, it's gonna be everything tough gonna be easier with yeah, um, of course, yeah, of course. negativity and, and such now yeah. let's talk about events happening in kuwait now i've seen some different and we attended by the way events happening in kuwait like comics and yeah you know these kind of things we always uh, like get to see a section full of animators uh, people who like to draw and talented people have you ever guys uh, thought of joining or participating maybe talking more and spreading the, the light on the sand globe. Yes, uh, we always like have an eye on all those uh, those conventions because uh, it's a recruiting area. Sometimes we meet some artists that we can work with and uh, but sometimes like we're, we're working a lot and we don't have time. But uh, this year we decided to join uh, Comic Con in, in Dubai. Mm. So we'll, it will be our first time like going there nice. and best we are very excited yeah. to do that yeah, best of luck it's one of the uh, best places out there i've been there probably every year since 2014. Yeah. Uh, it's a place oh. where artists and those cosplayers and all these video yeah. game lovers everyone in the community and also related to the program uh, that we, we talk about video games content creators yes. and of course uh, stories uh, regarding media so everything that we talk about is almost the same theme as the conventions yeah. that we are talking about. This is why I mentioned it because yeah. you will find people just like you, talented, skilled, passionate about the things that they love, whether it's video games, uh, animation, uh, you name it, you name it. So best of luck. Hopefully so that you enjoy it. And Hopefully course, we see you there yeah. also. Hopefully, inshallah. Inshallah. Oh, you will see me, inshallah. <laughs>
Now, uh, Salah, well, let's go back to social media, the new media. How yeah. would you recommend people to start their journey in this field? Yes. Uh, like Saud said, uh, people tend to be uh, perfectionists. Um, they wait and wait and wait to hone their skill and sharpen their weapons. Like, man, just, just do it. Like, upload. Make art and upload. No one starts perfect. Like, start. Don't wait. And this is my advice to anyone who's like, yeah. Um, in any field. Uh, in yeah. any field, yeah. You like will face difficulties, field. you will face hard times, and you have to start somewhere. You exactly, have to start. Yeah. As long as you start, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And Saud, last words before we conclude this lovely interview. Tell the people again something that you would recommend, whether in like social media and their passion, their hobbies, and anything. Mm -hmm. uh, in social media, just follow your passion. You'll have bad comments. You'll have like something you don't want to hear. Maybe someone will say it to you. Just focus on what what do you love about the thing that you do. Just this is the golden thing that you don't let go of, and follow it. Uh, everyone sometimes like uh, will write bad comments because they are having a bad day, not because your work is bad. So don't mind them and just focus on what you love. You heard the guys. I mean, thank you so much for being part of this lovely interview. We really hope that you grow and we, of course, we get to see you more, not only outside Kuwait, but also in Kuwait at the conventions and everywhere else. Hopefully, inshallah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Salah and Saud, and uh, best having. of luck with whatever you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Pleasure. We will continue where we left off. Big games that flopped badly and we will tell the reasons why. Superman of 1999 on Nintendo 64. How could Superman fail? Well, it did. How? Why? Well, it was a Nintendo 64 version that developer had a big plans, but due to their management, the console limitation, which I don't believe, but it happened. Only a fraction of their plans went ahead. The game was unplayable, difficult, without any reason, uninspiring, boring, dull, repetitive, and aimless. Why would Superman go through rings? Why would he do that? Wasn't he supposed to save the world? Shame on you guys. Daikata released in 2000. The game was ambitious and people saved it. Couldn't fail. Well, yep, it failed. It had every good factor behind it, the story, graphics, gameplay, and the, the successful developer behind the franchise that broke the gaming world. We have Quake and also we got Doom, Mr. John Romero. It was a first person shooter game. So people watching me from this camera might wonder why it failed. Well, the marketing campaign was a mess. It hyped beyond the skies and when it was released, it didn't meet the expectations after its late delayed release. The game sold back then only 10,000 copies. Two months later, sold only 40,000. Shenmue released in 1999. Now wait a minute. I know old gamers like you there might say no, it was successful and it was revolutionary. True, true, but it failed. Primarily not because the game was terrible, but because the console Dreamcast died out. The game was terrific with a lot of technical difficulties that literally killed the game for a lot of casual gamers. And now Sega, the developers spent almost $47 on the game. Uh, that figure was huge for a 2000 or 1999 game. It killed everything. Today, there are some impressive qualities about the game, like how every NPC has their own routine and can be talked to. Hey. Hey, mister! Let's play baseball! You can open individual drawers in a cabinet. Uh, you can uh, get these capsule toys. Why so down? I think a good one is ready to come out of this capsule toy machine. Do you please give me a hundred yen? Sorry, I'm in a hurry. 100 yen each. This is cool! But I think the most interesting aspect of Shenmue is how it serves as a little virtual window into Japan. The last game for today was a recent one, Marvel's Avenger, released in 2020. Superheroes, everyone loves them, right? Instant success, receipt, right? No. The publisher lost almost $65 million, the reason it failed Tech issues hurt the gamer's performance a lot, like a lot. 
And the campaign was brief, difficulty was weird and annoying somehow. Uh, a lot of repetition, a broken loot system, bugs that stopped your progress, or worse, it wiped it out. Glitches of enemies not loading, empty world as some people put it. The game lacked imagination and basic mechanics. And of course, uh, they fixed it. They took too long to fix it. People eventually got bored and shelved the game. All right, time to know your opinion. So let us watch what we have here. When we talk about the social media, it's something connects all the world together. It's like we say now, the world is very small. It's like you can connect everyone by just a call, by a text, everything linking together. So for me, sometimes I prefer when I am traveling, so I want to do, when we mention take off, I switch off my phone during my time for my break. So it's important to take a break from social media. Why? Because it's clear, clearing your mind. You will feel more peaceful. Sometimes people get attached too much in the social media. It will take too much of your time. So you, sometimes you need to take a break for yourself. You are listening to yourself. Even you have to brainstorm also. See the nature, re renew yourself. So social media is the, the good thing about it. It's only linking the people together. But a disadvantage is sometimes take too much of your time, even consume too much of your energy to a negative energy. Because once you are in, it will take a long time. Especially when you are sleeping. Pay attention. When you are sleeping, you are sleeping. Switch off your phone, mute, sleep. Don't uh, go on TikTok, on Instagram, Twitter, and even Snapchat because you will stay three, four hours more. I will not sleep and you will wake up and you are very tired. This is important tips from me to you. Thanks for that. Let us move on to our next segment for today. And with that being said, dear viewers, we have reached the end of this lovely episode of New Media. So now we know more about the importance of messages and new media and how easy and fast we can get instant messages from one to another during happy and difficult times. That was the end. See you again in the next one.